Number three, last point. Say to someone, shine your light, are you doing it right? The last part of the verse says, Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand so that everyone can see. In the same way, let your lines shine bright in the darkness so that everyone can see your good deeds, the good things you do, and praise your Father above. I love that one. Put your light up, not under, so that people can see it and see the good deeds that you do and praise your Father up above. You see, unfortunately, a lot of us people, humans, we get this one mixed up. And a lot of us don't understand the concept of this verse. So we have the people on this side. Okay, so these people shine their light everywhere. They're out there. They're outgoing. They do things for other people. They love on other people. They give money to people. They invite people to come eat at their house. They go out of their way to do things for other people. They shine their light all the time. But they miss the last part. And praise your Father above. It's just me, me, me. I'm doing this for them. I'm doing this for them. I've done this for that person. So I'm the one that should be praised. Me. Because I'm doing it. It's my pay. It's my money. I'm sacrificing my time. So it's all about me. But the verse says, Let your lines shine so that everyone can see your good deeds. And praise the Father above. Not praise you. You see, there's some of us who are doing that one. That one here. And everything is about you. It's a, it's a, it's a triangle of selfishness. And you might actually not know it. You might be doing nice things and blessing other people, but you might not knowingly be doing it just so that you can look good. But it should be for His glory. To bless them so that they may be blessed by you and see the light in you. And the light in you is Jesus Christ. So we have those people there. And then we have the people here, which unfortunately to say, So we have the people who shine the light and they go a little bit overboard. And then we have the people here who don't shine their light and they hide it, but they complain because those people have shined their light. Yeah. So they don't shine their light, they hide, they, 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 they're conserved. They're protective. But then when those people shine their light and are blessed, they complain. Why aren't I getting what they're getting? But you know why you're not getting what you're getting? Because you're sitting over there hiding your light. You're not shining it. You're sitting over there, lazy. I don't know why you're standing and holding back, but you're sitting there wasting your time when you could be just like the people over here being blessed. And it might not necessarily be something like shining your light as in going out into the road and reading your Bible to people. It might not necessarily be um, giving out $100 vouchers at, the, at your workplace or whatever. That doesn't mean those things, yes, you can do it. But you don't have to do that to be a blessing or to shine your light or to show that you are someone who is saved by the grace of the Lord. It could be something as simple as supporting. My family, supporting. You know, you can be a blessing and shine your light by supporting someone else. I had my university uh, interview uh, three years ago and mum and dad came and uh, this lady named Jill Fletcher, who is a senior teacher who taught for 23 years or something, 
She's worked at Tangaroa, at Hillary, at Clover Park, and then she came over to Papo. And she was the reason why I got into uni, and she came to the interview as my support. Now, you usually only allow one or two, but she pushed that she came. So I had mum and dad and Jill Fletcher in my interview. I, there were six of us. Uh, Chinese girl, Balangi girl, Maori girl, Indian girl, um, uh, what was it? In, uh, Indian girl, and then me. And before the interview started, the man goes, okay, only one of you are going to make it through to the teacher's degree that you're applying for. Only one of you here. And the interview is done on a big table, and they ask us questions. And I was the only one that had support. Mom, dad, and the teacher. And all the rest of the other girls, no one came to support them in the interview. It made me feel so good inside. And before I, oh, when they're asking the questions, they would ask me, and then they would always look at mom and dad and Joe, then look. And I remember one time he asked the question and he looked at dad and mom and said, are you guys happy with his answer? Because he sounds like he's answered all the questions for everyone. And they laughed, I remember. And then before we walked out, the man did these eyes to me. So I was hoping it was a good sign. And then Jill, the lady who came over, said to him, because she's really lame mouth sometimes, she said to the interview lecturer, if you don't let this boy in, you're a damn fool. <laughs> if you don't let this boy into your university, you're a damn fool. Excuse the language. And we walked out and we laughed. And then two weeks later, I got the call that I made it into the university. You see, you don't have to shine your light sometimes for yourself. But you can shine your light by supporting someone else. Think of us Samoan people sometimes. And the reason why I say Samoan people is because I know because I've seen it. I can't say thing of Tongan people because I haven't seen it with Tongan people. Us Samoan people, we are so proud of our families. Timo Morisa has won the award for, and you stand up and you congratulate them. Yes, I'm so proud of him. But then when they say, and Anasua has come first for the graduation. So you're so supportive of your family, but you can't support someone else. We need to have that mindset of, I support me, I support my family, I support others, I support my church family, I support my friends at work. It's not all about us. It can't be. This life wasn't made that way. It has to be about you and someone else. You and other people. Family. You can shine your light by being a great person supporter by going to your son's game and calling out his name go son by going to your daughter's performance and calling out her name and standing up there being the one that yells yes that's my girl you can be a blessing that way there is nothing to be afraid of parents kids youth you can be a blessing by supporting you can shine your light by not just doing something for you, but by doing something for someone else. Give a clap offering for the Lord today. The most important part of that verse is the last line. And as I close, in the same way, let your line, sh line, light, let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. Not your Father, my Father, here. Because he's sick right now, he's got a toothache. But my Father, up there. And if you know that you're doing something that's not praising your Father in heaven. 